Hello Xamarin developers, this is Xamarin Guys So 58 tutorial. In this tutorial, we are going to use Azure Blob Stories for our Xamarin Forms application. This is the application that I have taken reference from Xamarin Blogs. I will give that link in the description below. You can check it out anytime. And in this application, we will be calling image as well as title for our given project from our Azure Blob Stories. This is my image as well as title that will be called from our Azure Blob Stories. You can see over here I'll go to our Azure portal this is my image that was uploaded before and then I'll be calling on this image along with the title with the help of keys so in order to create such type of project for our Xamarin Forms application now let us go to our file new and then project now let us give it a name as my Azure blob storage and then click on OK after that, we will select .NET Standard Project. I'll minimize that. Inside our code behind of app.xaml, we have to implement main page is equals to navigation page as this page will manage the navigation and user experience of a stack of other page. That's why I'll implement that. And then I have to keep it inside new main page. In order to implement navigation page that's all now let us create our storage inside our azure portal that is our blob storage that we are going to use create a resource and then inside our storage here we will create our storage account you can give any name i'll give it as xamarin guy and then select the account kind as blob storage as we are going to use that and then a locally redundant storage lrs you have to select that and then we have to enable our secure transfer required and then you can give any resource name here I have already created resource that's why I am using my app1 ID you can give any name to that now let us go towards our dashboard this is my Xamarin guide that I have already created this is my store local storage that I have just created now let us give our container name as my photos after clicking on OK, this is my container where we are going to upload our images. You can select any files as you like, and then we'll upload it to our blob storage. Now, this is my image. Now, we'll go to our access key tab. Here I'll be calling this connection string in our application. Before that, I have to make a class which will be interacting with my blob storage using connection string. Let us create a class named as my blob storage service.cs. This is my class. Here I'll be implementing some methods that will be interacting with my connection string inside my blob storage. This is a generic static class which contains cloud storage account and cloud blob client which is defined under windows azure.storage so we have to include it inside all of our project now let us go towards our blob storage service.cs these are my two classes that are defined under windows azure dot storage this is my client here it contains two public methods get blobs and save block blob which can be called from anywhere in our application to retrieve and upload blobs from and to blob storage accordingly now we have to interact our whole Xamarin.Forms application with Azure Blob Storage. 
so in order to do that we need connection string in order to connect our application with Azure Blob Storage so we will be taking this connection string and then we have to select it sorry I have to paste it over here that's all in this class we have to mainly focus on two parts that is a save blob as well as get blob that is we are going to save our whole image inside our blob storage as well as uh, we are going to get the images this is simple stack layout implementation we'll retype images from our blob storage with the activity indicator so this is a cloud blob storage that is defined inside our Azure blob storage from our blob list we are going to call our first blob image with the help of photo model that is our image as well as title is going to be called we will create a class that is our model and then title as well as image will be called with the help of URL this is my photo model class which will be helpful in order to call my image as well as title from our Azure blob storage our container location should be same we have to copy our container location as my photos as our whole application is going to interact with Azure blob storage that's all now here I have implemented my indicator is running as well as is visible to false if our application loads the images from our blob now let us run our Android project as our startup project and see whether it gives me correct output or not activity indicator is running okay we got our title along with image that's all that's our expected output you can play with those values as first or default or last any anything you may like that's the end of our tutorial thank you guys thanks for watching keep in touch for next tutorials